<laughs> Fuck you! Christ, look at that. Didn't know y'all held that much gold. That Washington's been shuffling around on account of the war. It's here, then it gets sent to Dallas, then it comes back. It doesn't make a lick of goddamn sense. Here we are. Put those bags on the table there. Never done this detail before. Figured it'd be bigger. It gets the job done. Only time there's a problem is when the flu clogs up. Fuck. That's some heat right there. Used to use coal for it, but a year or so back we switched over to oil. Maintains a more consistent flame. Here's some guy come around the house trying to switch me over to oil. Told him I wasn't interested. I never was neither till I saw the... God, that guy was an asshole. We need to move. Danny and Ellis should be coming up any time now. All right, give me a second. <clears throat> You take care of those guards. Keep your ass down. You don't want them getting a drop on us. I know what the fuck I'm doing. we've been renting out called over there last night told them i wanted to sell it told them they needed to be out in two weeks and the man his name's uh john starts laying into me saying the lease gives them the right to do anything they notice that's how he's supposed to find a new place in two weeks so i tell him none of that's my goddamn problem it's my pro huh Let's go, man. This place ain't gonna rob itself. Reloading! 
Taking cover! This is a goddamn massacre! Only way we walk out of here. Bust the door open. I'll watch our asses. Small man gonna shit a brick when he hears about this. Fuck! Fuck! Come on, open! Give me that damn thing. These guys ain't fucking around. Face way worse than this over in Nam. Little smoke don't mean shit. Stay close to the vault, watch for the drill. I'll deal with these assholes.
Sam is doing all right. Ever since we got your telegram about coming home, he's been climbing the walls. What if the plane crashes? What if the train's delayed? What if they call him back? And he goes stand in front of the kitchen window and sip his whiskey like he was expecting you to come strolling up the sidewalk. Don't say nothing about me telling you that. I won't. He'll be fine once he sees you. Ever since Mama Hell, you know how he gets. Remember Marty and Ron Langford? Sure. They moved up to Empire Bay a year or so after you shipped out. Started selling weed. They called and asked me if I want some. I say, sure. It's free money as far as I'm concerned. Anyhow, a month back, Marty drops me a line and says they're moving into heroin, that they're looking for a partner down around these parts. Can't imagine Sammy was too keen on that. I never told him about the weed. That ain't nothing to nobody. But this, I gotta talk to him about. I ain't said more than three words and he's yelling about the feds. How we don't need J. Edgar up our asses and what the fuck am I thinking? Selling dope with kids running around the neighborhood. We ain't selling no dope to no children. <laughs> like they got any money to begin with. Fucking around the side. That was pretty serious shit. Knew a couple guys over in Nam who were running it. Wound up pissing off the wrong person. Got their throats cut. Shit, man, I know what's what. That's why I'm talking to Georgie about it. No way Sal's gonna go along with that. Georgie says he'd keep his old man from fighting out. We'll still clear the hollow in Frisco, just selling the French wall. Georgie's Uncle Lou won't say shit as long as we give him a taste of the action. I don't know, man. Georgie's a cool cat and all, but heroin ain't the kiddie pool. Come in on it with us. I bet he'd agree to a three-way split. <sighs> I don't know. I kind of need to lay low a bit, figure some things out. Yeah, all right. Come on, we're going through the front. I ain't having your wall here or I ask you for back though. 